Well, I tell you what, maybe the best team is one of those two teams that we just showed up there, and the Nationals had their way yesterday. But these two young guys that are coming up with the Nationals right now are pretty fun to watch. And let's take a closer look at these two guys, because I'm going to start with the old man first at 21 and give you a little something. Lauren, you talked about that home run he had the other night to tie the game. Let's go back and let's freeze this thing when we get um, right here. Yes. Do you see this right here? We saw a 1-1 slider he fouled off. That's called a choke up, sports fans. He's going to uh, have a little bit more barrel awareness with this approach. It's one ball, two strikes, and he says, you know what, I'm not going to strike out. I cannot make the last out of this game by striking out. Let's play it forward and check this thing out, and this is bad how it unfolds, because that, to me, is a mindset. He spits on that, and pow! Mm. The 2-2 pitch, he hits out of the yard. Two outs, two strikes, and once again, when you look at this, that knob is still there. You can still see that his hand's up on the bat, and I love the mindset. I'm not talking mechanics. I'm not talking anything else. I think that gentleman right there has the idea I'm going to compete. I'm not giving up. I'm not phoning in. And I'm going to choke up, and I'm going to battle. We play this thing forward, and we already saw this home run go out of the ballpark. And to me, that's impressive. That's one of his three homers. Oh, by the way, he's also get this guy. First of all, that's ball one, Mr. Umpire. Um, but the 0-1 pitch, bam, on a 95-mile-an-hour heat piece, he hits it out of the yard. What does he do the next time he sees Syndergaard? 0-0 count, first pitch, slide ball. Mm. And he jumps him. Come on, that tells me he's got a little bit of smarts to go along with his ability to compete. Now this dude right here. We saw this bomb that he hits. Oh. That is unbelievable. And yes, fair or foul, I don't know, but when it goes over something like a foul pole, you can't you know, overturn it. It is a home run. Mad Max loves this. Now, we're gonna take a close look at this right here. That's his happy spot, right? He likes the belt high, he wants the ball up, and this ball is actually just smash. Play this thing forward, let her go, and let's see what happens. Come on now, get on out of here. So, that's his big home run the other night. That's his first one of the year right there off of Aaron Nola. And I want to take another look at that because I think the same thing. Where's his happy zone? It's up. I think he wants the ball middle of the plate. I like, think he likes it out over. He likes the ball up, player forward, let her go. And let's watch this. So here's his two home runs of the year. Ball's up. I want to go back and look at his last six in September. The ball says, hit me. The ball says, hit me. It says, hit me, hit me again. And he's going bridge. He knows where he can go bridge. Let's freeze this for me for a minute. I want to set the scene right here. This is last night after he goes three-run bomb and he just crushed something. Now, three-run homer. He's got the first inning of last night's game. Base is drunk, 3-1 count. How can this young man not say to himself, I'm going to get seven ribbies and two swings? I'm going to go bridge here. Where does he like to go bridge? He wants that thing belt high. He wants to go yickety-yak. Let's play it forward and see what happens on this 3-1 pitch. Remember, there's his happy zone, right? He's looking up. He's going to get seven ribbies and two swings. Nope, it's not in his happy zone. It takes a pitch. It goes to 3-2. Look at this. There's his happy zone 3-2. I got him. I'm going to get him. It's a hook. He spit on it. How can a young man that's 20 years old in that situation just spit on a ball that he's looking up in the zone? It looked like it was good to me. Carlos Peña is going to come out here. We're going to have a little bit more conversation about it because we were on the desk last night. We both marvel at the fact that we have a 21-year-old in Robles doing the things he does, a 20-year-old in Soto doing the things that he can do. And the big move last year was Bryce Harper left D.C. and went to Philadelphia. And the question is, boy, did they make the right decision? Are they going to let this play? Right now, Bryce Harper's a young man doing the right thing in Philadelphia. I think it's a good move by the Phillies. But did the Nationals do the right thing? Because these two guys, their future can be bright quite a long time, Lauren.